One of the bloodiest battles in Civil War history was fought right here in Franklin, Tennessee. And the Lotz family, the family who owned this home, was right in the middle of it. This is now a museum, and boy, is there fascinating history behind it. And J.T. Thompson is the executive director of the Lotz House, and I have been so <laughs> fascinated by all the stuff you've told me about. Well, it's, it's an incredible story, and, and so often when we talk about history and, and battles, we sometimes have uh, a tendency to forget that they're real people, and really it's the Lotz and this family that brings, in many respects, to life what happens here 150 years ago. Yes. Uh, Mr. Lotz, he's a German immigrant. He's actually born over in Saxony. And uh, at the age of 13, uh, at the insistence of his father, who tells him basically in our world today to get off, up off the couch and go to work, yeah. uh, he goes to work in the European Guild system, which means he travels for 20 years through Germany, through Switzerland, to earn the title Master Woodworker, uh, Master Cabinet Maker. He gets that education, brings his bride, Margarita, to America. Uh, they get to Franklin in 1854, and one year later, he will purchase this property from his dear neighbor, Mr. Carter, which is just 110 steps across the street that way, and Lotz begins to build the home. Three years to do so, no slaves or slave labor. Mr. Lotz, the master woodworker, builds this home by himself. It is a show home. It's a model home. We'd call it working resume. If you look at the house, the perfect example, there are wonderful flowers carved the top of every one of his columns. There are acorn finials that run the eaves atop the roof line, a massive acanthus leaf scroll top pediment, and I always encourage folks, look at the carving above each window. You will quickly see that the first floor design, it's totally different than the second floor design. Again, trying to show versatility to potential clients. He's quick to say, sir or ma'am, if you do not like design A, I am more than happy to do design B. It's truly a three-dimensional catalog of what he can do with his two hands and some raw lumber. On the first floor of this home, JT, there are so many pieces that tell the story of the Lodes family, like this hair wreath. Hair wreath is great. I call it their, their version of the photo album. Uh, basically, a member of the family will pass or die. The ladies take out sisters, cut their hair, and they'll weave their into each individual flower. And then quite literally, that piece becomes their hanging photo album. It's a visual reminder. It's a, an oral reminder. They'll look at the hair and they'll say, that's Aunt Jane, remember when she. It becomes that very much way to remember someone before photography and smartphones with cameras have been invented. I should let you know that there are approximately 333 people inside that piece. It spans six generations. And one more quick thing, uh, one color you will not see an awful lot of in there is white, simply because at this point in time, people 150 years ago do not live long enough to get the pretty white hair that we appreciate today. Oh, that's so interesting. And in this particular room, I know you were telling me, lots of bloodstains. Yes, the, the Lotz House Ground Zero Heart Soul of the Battlefield, bloodstains on every floor of this home. Interesting story behind this staircase. Absolutely. Lotz carves grand pianos. This is the leg of one of his grand pianos that he actually flips over, stabilizing this beautiful black walnut wraparound staircase. Uh, the medallion top center, his name and date carving it. A clear indication the house has been paid for, his way of bragging without having to say a single solitary word about it. At the very bottom, underneath the hidden door, is his uh, hide a safe, safe deposit box. So much history here at this place, and we've only just scratched the surface, JT. How can folks actually come out and see this for themselves? Uh, get in the car and come. It's really it's an easy drive from Nashville. Uh, but also, this is our 150th anniversary of the battle, so many things going on. And one great way to see everything in Franklin is to take advantage of the value ticket. Yes. I uh, get you into this house, the Carter House, and also Carton Plantation. It only costs $30. So it's a great way to see three houses and save 10 bucks doing it. Absolutely. And then, of course, you've written a book on this whole family. Co authored a book, and it's a, a I tell people it's easy to read short sentences and a lot of big pictures. <laughs> I love it. This is so fascinating and I wish we had more time. But I encourage you to come out and see the Lotz House here in Franklin. And for more information, they can go to your website. www.lotzhouse.com. And we'll link you to that at newschannel5.com. Thank you so much. Thank JT. you. I appreciate it. Always welcome.